Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Morrow. I'm the founder and principal designer of Morrow Design Studios, which is a full service interior design firm that focuses on residential and commercial projects. We're located in the DC area, but we have clients nationwide. This YouTube channel is for my fellow home dwellers who want to design a home that they love and my fellow entrepreneurs who want to craft an entrepreneurship journey that they're proud of. On this channel, you're gonna get design tips, tours of my own home, but you're also gonna get the ins and outs and behind the scenes of my entrepreneurship journey as an interior designer, because let me tell you, it is not as glamorous as the internet makes it look or seem. <laughs> but on today's video, we are gonna talk about Christmas in July. Now don't click off yet. I know it's only July. I know Christmas is nowhere to be found, but there are four things I do this time of year to help me get organized for the Christmas season because there is nothing I hate more than when Christmas comes and it is a rat race to get everything accomplished. I have to spend so much money at one time that I end up broke <laughs> and I have no plan for anything. I'm just going with the flow. That doesn't work for me and my anxiety. So here are four things I do in July to prepare for the Christmas season. And I promise you, none of it involves decorating, blasting Christmas music, or watching a Christmas movie. Before we jump in, I have to share where Christmas in July even came from. So according to Southern Living Magazine, Christmas in July started in 1933 at a camp in North Carolina. It was an all girls camp called Keystone Camp. And initially it was only on July 24th and July 25th but it was a time where they celebrated Christmas because July is sort of the halfway point between the year and Christmas, but they pulled out all the stops, music, decorations, stockings, crafts. It was a really fun time for them. Eventually it evolved and retailers got wind of it and it became a month long celebration known as Christmas in July. And it's so popular now that you can Google it and lots of ideas will come up for how you can celebrate it, what you can do now to prepare for this season, just like what I'm gonna share in this video. But even Hallmark, the Hallmark Channel, they show a lot of Christmas movies during Christmas in July to commemorate the month. So it is a thing, it's very well known, but we have Keystone Camp to thank for the inception of Christmas in July. So here are the four things I do every July to prepare for the Christmas season. The first thing I do is decide who I'm going to shop for. My non-negotiables are my parents, my husband, and my kids. But outside of that, who else do I need to shop for? Think in totality. Whether it's your kid's teacher, their fellow classmates, if you wanna do some arts and crafts for them, maybe you have some coworkers you wanna buy for, anyone. Put them on a list. For me personally, I create an Excel spreadsheet in Google Drive, very simple. I put the individual's name on the spreadsheet, and that's it. Literally, that's it for the month of July. So think about who it is that you want to shop for and we'll come back to why that's important a little bit later. The second thing I do, and y'all are gonna think I'm crazy for this, I'm not, <laughs> is I book my photographer for our family holiday photos. Now, the reason I do this in July is for two reasons. One, I like to take our pictures in the fall when it's still relatively warm outside. We don't need big bulky winter coats and I have little ones. I don't want them in the cold and I don't want me in the cold. So we take our pictures in the fall. In order to take photos in September, early October, I have to book the photographer in July because fall is peak wedding season. So I'm competing against weddings with these photographers. So book my photographer in July, I pay my deposit, and then I move on to the next piece, which is deciding what the aesthetic I want for the photos. Do I want us in pajamas at home? Do I want us on a tree farm in casual wear? What do I want the aesthetic to be for these pictures? And so I just simply look on Pinterest, get some ideas. I also look back at our photos from previous years to see, okay, what have we done already? Is there a look that we did maybe five years ago that we can, you know, do again? So I decide what I want the aesthetic to be or just throw out some ideas for the overall aesthetic. And again, I just leave it there because let me tell you, nobody's putting out. Christmas outfits right now anyway. <laughs> so it's not like I can shop. I'm literally just coming up with ideas. Then the fourth thing I do is think about what location do I want us to capture these photos. If I want formal wear as the aesthetic, we don't need to be on a tree farm. If I want pajamas for the aesthetic, we don't need to be in nobody's hotel lobby. We probably need to be at home. <laughs> 
So I think about some shooting locations that pair well with the aesthetic I'm going for. And again, that's the most that I do. But that's important because your photographer will need to know what locations you're considering and they'll also share some ideas with you for locations but again fall is peak wedding season you're competing with weddings when you think about these venues whether it's a hotel whether it's a farm or a vineyard a lot of them are booked up in the fall for weddings so you need to get on their calendar and the photographer's calendar early if you want to take your photos in that september or october time frame so those are my four things i do in july i will be back to share more about what I'm doing during the July, August timeframe to prepare for the holiday season so I'm not broke and I'm not stressed. <laughs> when November and December roll around, I can genuinely enjoy the season with my family and my loved ones. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, I invite you to subscribe by pressing the button below. I will be back with more design content, entrepreneurship content, and organization content like this that will hopefully allow you to have a stress-free season in just five months. <laughs> Bye, y'all.